Yo, what's up, everybody? What's up? Epic Quest Random Adventures is in the house. Bam. Monthly live stream on our new live stream home. Ah, new live stream home on the uh, Twitches. The Twitch. Twitch. So, what's up, everybody? I am Brad. And I'm Hoy Sensation. What up? So, here's our new thing. We kind of got it going on. Uh, Got some... uh, new uh, flavor in additions to throw out there yeah. bam we like to keep it fresh you guys know that yeah so what is up to everybody who has just followed us in the last little bit so cyrell infection was about a day ago jerry terrifying about two hours ago yeah dude and swanky 34 minutes ago and our good pals morton's list official 19 minutes ago oh very nice what very up? nice so Hopefully, if you're in the house and watching, go ahead and we got the chat pulled up. We see that Cyrell Infection is in the house with the Purple Heart. What's up, dude? What's yeah, up? we definitely encourage everyone to chat with us as we do this live stream. Yeah, definitely. And Junkhead's in the house, of course. What, what up, up what Junkhead? Up? All right. We got a, a lot to cover today. We do. Major. A lot of freshness. Major things to talk about. Uh our biggest news on the channel that we will be discussing is the uh, May 13th and 14th event here in Knoxville, Tennessee. That's right. An official Morton's List Friday the 13th event here in our town. Hosted by us, but you know, it's an official Morton's List event, which means there will be official Morton's List people in the house. Damn skippy. Some Twilight Lords rolling into town, and man epicness epic flavor oh it's on this. it's going to be explosive yes it is uh before we get too deep we're going to go ahead and uh, i guess we can talk about some of the uh the morton's list newsy news out there yeah we can so, talk about what's going on right meow right meow let's see here well we're kidding today's an all day morton's list all day going on so after our event's over you should tune in to the brand new Morton's List Beach House Party Sunday Woo-hoo. premiere of January 30th, 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So so about two hours after our event ends, you'll be able to roll over there and see Twilight Lord Tall Jess throwing it down live from the beach house. So... Awesome. So hopefully he'll have some epic level news to discuss and talk about. Yeah. And all be nice to see Jess. Stuff. Oh, you know what? All right. Sorry. I am brand new to this, so there's probably some madness going on on your screen that you're like, I can't see that. Yeah, I got to turn some stuff off. So I mean, you know, technical difficulties. There we go. Sorry. Now, now you can see it. Sorry, I'm, we have a main monitor screen, but it's not what's going live through Twitch. So it's, oh, this is, yeah. So all this, it still had our names up there and all the logos <laughs> on top of this. So oh, I'm, right on, right on. I'm sorry for that. I'm so sorry. But, you know, we're trying and, you know. Yeah, we'll get those bugs. So so now you can Ain't see no us thing. here over there. So Yeah, more just official. All Four right. Four o'clock. Oh uh, yeah. Let's see here. Mobile bandwidth no bueno above 480. Uh-oh. So funny you mention that cuz we 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 tried to we did a little research on how, what best to uh present the Twitch live stream in so that people on mobile can Yeah, so see I mean and enjoy it. yeah, we're broadcasting like 720, so we're yeah. not we're not super big up there so you know, we're not pushing no 1080 or 4k we want everybody no, to be no, able to no, see no. it and enjoy it but yeah looks like we still got a couple bugs yeah we may have some bugs so sorry if you're on the uh audio only at this time i don't know audio only oh that's dax saying what up dak in the house dax. uh so it's so weird every time i say dak now it makes me think of the rapper dax so this is new to us so sort of just bear with us hopefully how about everybody else or can you um uh hear us and see us if you're in the chat go ahead and say yes no maybe yeah let us know what you're experiencing all right morton's list i can see everything how about hearing can you hear everything morton's list official lights look good thank you cool 
There's one. Yeah. Let's see here. Ah, oh, Cyrell said he's lagging on the phone. Uh, stuck in a part there. Oh, he's out doing an hourly quest bot quest. We'll Dope. talk. We're we're going to talk more about that. Absolutely. And uh, you know, uh, which is I mean, it's new technology. It sounds amazing. All right. Morning's yeah. less said mics sound good. So cool. And there is no background music because uh, we don't have any official license that we can really use. So. Not really. We only got a couple, and you get tired of hearing that really quick. Yeah. So. Especially <laughs> the same song for a whole hour straight. You just good want to like. I'd be sick of it. Yeah. You want to stab your ears with <laughs> an ice pick. So. All right. So let's go to some more uh, other things that are happening today. So after this, you'll be able to catch the uh, Morton's List. Bam. Right here. Peace out. And then after that, bam, the Morton's List posting event, which has been going on all day. It started last night at midnight Central Time, Yep, which was 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And they have had a what they call Quest Bot, which has been pumping out Quest all day long. So on the hour. Yep. So they're rolling in the uh, Chinese... Of New Year, Year of the Water Tiger. So go check them out on Discord. Really? So, Year of the Water Tiger? Yeah. Huh, yeah. I, I have not heard that yet. Wow. You haven't? Which, I, yeah, I know. You I, haven't got any... Uh, I've been seeing all sorts of Chinese New Year stuff. Messages so, huh? from uh, from uh, Old Trebla then, or, it, or the Junkhead. The Water Tiger, that's cool. Yeah. So, so, yes, yes, yes. So... Um, let's go ahead and pull that up. Let's see. We got something. Let's see. Sorry. This is this is new technologies that we're trying out and things that we can do. So, bam. Let's pull this up. I All tell right. you what. That that looks fresh as fuck. So right now, this is this is kind of a look live from the uh, from Discord from the Morton's List posting Discord server. Definitely and go check them out if you haven't yet. Right here, they have the hourly quest, and they have a thing called QuestBot that every hour has been rolling a quest, and kind of shows, you know, uh, you know, a bunch of. I mean, it's really dope too. So, you know, the first quest that looks like it rolled was uh, rolled up Nightscape Ninja Mission. Bam! I mean, and look how dope and pretty this yeah, looks. I wonder it, if I can it's zoom not just in. text. There is. Look at this. Look at these little icons down here. That's it's so, all. That's so cool. Yeah. I mean, it's got everything kind of laid out, you know. It's legit as shit. Cyril has done an amazing job with this that is absolutely crazy. So Yeah, we, I'm we, no computer scientist, but that had to take a lot of work. Yeah, so so props to Cyril. And we, we will hopefully be able to have a chat with him, try to work out something. Absolutely. And uh, do a... Uh, For an interview? Interview type yeah. thing. Yeah. Now that we got this new technologies going on, so, so yeah, so that is extra freshness, and everything going on there. So and later, I guess later on today. The, oh yeah, they're, yeah. They're going to be the official event is at six p.m. Central their time, seven Eastern. No, is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So it's right after. It's like an hour after the Morton's List event. Yep. So everything's like, you know, kind of definitely going on today. definitely peep what they unveil over there on Martin's List posting Discord with the uh, with the quest bot. They're gonna they're gonna unveil some really cool shit over there. Really excited for that. Oh yeah, totally. And if you haven't, if you're on Discord, go to the official Morton's List uh, Discord channel. Sign up there because there's a lot of freshness that gets dropped there. And there's there's a nice amount of people on there that are uh, yeah you know taking part on that Discord channel so yeah we we've seen some pictures of people out and about yeah doing that doing that thing oh yeah well I mean it's a good place to hear of events and you know especially the official Morton's List events official Morton's List news stuff like that so bam totes so I guess we got something big to kind of announce I guess. Yeah, we, yeah. We had the pleasure of, of dropping this knowledge since we're the ones helping host this event. Bam. Friday, May 13th, Saturday, May 14th, Knoxville, Tennessee. Whoop, whoop. Return to reality, a Morton's List event. So, have you been sitting in your house 
tapping away on your computer, not able to engage with other human beings. Well, hopefully after, I mean, what is this, the fifth round of COVID that's gone around? Wow. This has been pretty bad. I've lost count. You yeah. know, of, but hopefully by the time this one's kind of over and done with and the numbers drop down, then we'll, this will be perfect timing for the May 13th event. Absolutely. The weather will be nice. Not everyone will be cooped up in a, in a, in a house. Right. Or... So we'll be outside yeah. throwing down the flavors. And, uh, you know, hopefully you've seen the, you know, these little things. Limitless Adventure. Mystic Rituals. Uh, tickets are going to go on sale February 13th. So we'll, there will be a website. Morton's List will be doing the official ticketing. So you will yep. see those official things getting launched over there on mortonslist.com. On, I'm sure we'll be every social media, Facebook, Instagram, our stuff, Epic Quest, everybody will be posting where you can it'll get be, it. It'll be everywhere. Yeah. And we, so. we can't tell you any pricing now. Well, we can tell more pricing. Yeah, yeah. That we, we can. Okay. What can we talk about? Let's see here. Let's drop just a little bit. Just a little bit of knowledge on, on tickets since we just talked about tickets going on sale. There will be tiers to this ticketing. Correct. So if you can't attend, let's go back where you can see our faces. Here we go. If you can't attend the event, there will be a ticket just for you. That way you can show support and it's, you know, in a, in a cheap price range like $13. And you're going to get a shout out. And... We're going to try to live stream a couple events on uh, hopefully the official Morton's List Twitch channel. Yep. Like at least two events, hopefully, one one on Friday and one on Saturday. Be able to, uh, you know, show those live two events and uh, share with the world what's going on from Knoxville, Tennessee. Now, the location where this is actually, we're still keeping that secret. Oh, yeah. There will be an official meeting location, but the official where everything's going down will be kind of, we're going to keep it mysterious and Absolutely, secretive. Yeah. You just have to trust us. And you can. You can totally trust us. I promise. All right. Look at this oh, face. Oh, look at this face. You will be pleasantly surprised. You will. Yeah. The location that we have picked out is beautiful. It's not even on a map. No. It, it, it doesn't even exist, technically. Right. So, you know, you may have to walk through a, you know, a portal through through a woods into a portal. Maybe there'll be what they call them, like the when you got the little circle of mushrooms, like the fairy oh, yeah. rings. Oh, yeah. You know, to get to this mystical, magical location. Traverse to the silly court. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Something crazy like that will happen. So and uh, yeah. So. Should be exciting. There will be tiers for ticketing. There will be, you know, if you can only make it one day, there will be that ticket. There will be a special, um, let's see, what else can we talk about? I guess we can can kind of mention, not in full detail, but we can kind of mention because we haven't worked out all the full details, that there will be a special relic that you can get at this event. Oh, yeah. And with this relic, <laughs> whatever it is, I mean, we kind of know, but we're still working out all the details. But you'll be able to get this relic, and of uh, maybe this relic, when you're there, will have a special ceremony where maybe you will receive a special title. Maybe. Maybe. And maybe a special power associated with this relic, which this has never been done in Morton's List history. Nope. You know, it kind of ties in almost to the 360 degrees, where you have to earn degrees to get powers. This will be you show up to this event, you may be able to get this special title and power. And the only way to get it is to come to this event. The only way. So, holy smack. Right in the face. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying not to cuss too much, but, you know, it's kind of hard to contain myself. So, so that's what we're trying to work out. Something brand new that just, just blows the mind. Wig peeled completely back over the wall, over your nice banner, hanging on the wall. And That's what we like to do. Definitely. Definitely. That's what we like to do. So, um, hmm. what else can we talk about? Well, we can say for sure. For sure? Mark your calendars. Mark your calendars. This is going down. This is going down, yes. Yeah, because we've put a, a hell of a deposit down on the location. Yeah. 
and it's non-refundable. <laughs> it was like after 24 hours, it was non-refundable. <laughs> so this shit's going down. It doesn't matter if there's wildfires, uh, wild, yeah, wildfires, hurricanes, tornadoes. It's happening in Knoxville, Tennessee. Be here Friday the 13th. Maybe get here a day early because there may be a special event that happens the evening before the Friday the 13th, possibly, which you'll learn more about later. Yeah, we'll definitely let you guys know in, in plenty of time. Yes. So, yeah. yeah. So, let's see. We'll give you all the information as soon as we get it. Let me, sure. look, let me look through my notes here and see if there's anything else I can maybe slightly kind of mention. Kind of hint at? Mm-hmm. So, let's see here. But, yeah, it's definitely, this is random reality. Oh, the body cams. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Body cams. All right, at this event, um, we are going to encourage any participants that are coming to bring a GoPro and or that style of device, a wearable, non-intrusive device. Not Don't bring your phone that you got to hold in your hand the whole time. We want you to bring a of uh, something that has an something SD that you card. can well something yeah something that with an SD card that you can strap onto yourself whether it's wearing it like on your hat or on your just so it's not as intrusive not walking around with a camera on a gimbal like a big mess oh, yeah you know we want something because we don't want to we just want you to wear it and it's you almost forget about it so that way the quest can you can fully participate in. Right. And the quests and stuff, yeah. Right, and because of the chaotic nature of Morton's list, yeah. <laughs> you never know we don't happen. want anything live streamed, just in case, you know, there's, you know, because there's always stuff that could happen that, you know, you may not want everybody seeing you out there doing it. Like, you know, could be doing a mountain activity, and maybe your belly's falling out, or you're showing your butt crack by accident. See, that's a nice way to put it. See, we didn't mention yeah. anything else, but no. <laughs> that's that's the way we're, that's the way we're going to talk about that. So, but yeah, I'll definitely bring like something that's like a a GoPro that has a little SD card in it. And what we're going to do after we do those events, we're going to collect all that footage from each little camera. And it doesn't really matter. You don't have to have the newest, greatest. Uh, GoPro or whatever. No. If you can find a, you know, one's a few years old that you get for like 50 bucks or your cousin's got one, he'll loan you just for the weekend. He's got one of those little yeah, harness yeah. thing straps to go on. Just pick yourself up an SD card. They're fairly inexpensive. Right. And bring it in. I mean, we're just going to film your quest as we're going because we want this footage and we want to use this footage for YouTube videos, possible docu- uh, Morton's List like documentary type stuff that yeah. could be going down. Uh, you know, we're just trying to collect footage because if you've seen, there's been footage collected from other big quests, you know, like the quest that they did when they were looking for the lost city of Atlantis. You know, there's some footage of that that you can watch on uh, Morton's List on their YouTube channel. But we're trying to, now that the technology is getting easier and better. And cheaper. And cheaper. You know, we're we're trying to get everybody to uh, uh, do that. So, yeah, Junkhead said camera glasses. Why not? Let's do it. That'd be dope. Let's do it. So, um, let's see. What else can we chat about? Let's see here. Um, um, let's go ahead and we, let's chat about this. We've mentioned it before in the past, but let's talk about Bam. Let's talk about the Epic Quest and Ram Adventures new merchandise yes. that we got going on. Bam. This hey, shirt. This shirt right, right here. There. Look at that. Look at that shirt. It's dope. It's even got something on it. Popping. Back. Oh, yeah. Look at, look at that back. Look at that back. Front at, and back. Front that's, and back shirt. That's what the people want. That's what they want. And I really like these shirts. This is actually just their classic tee that they have on, um, on Teespring. Teespring. Yeah. So, and it is so, I mean, it's just, it's nice, it, nice it feels thick. like a good quality. And you can get these shirts if you're a bigger dude like me. This is a 3XL tall. So it's a nice long, fits good, you know, thick, nicer quality. If you bought one of our other t-shirts that we didn't have this oval design, then it was just printed on. You couldn't get a black shirt. Now you can have this yeah, like, on black. Like my hoodie. Yeah, if you got a darker shirt, then man, it was... So I kind of like it though. It's kind of dope because it's kind of hidden on there, but it at is. the same time, you know, you can't really. It doesn't pop out. Yeah, to even the, the hoodies have the 
have the oval background on it too, so it really pops. Looks mm. incredible. Right. Um, another thing that we're we're trying to work on, we're in official talks with uh, Morton's List. Um, we're trying to work out something. A lot of people love this design right here. This God, has popped up. Ah, man, that was so much fun to make, and it looks so freaking cool. Yeah, I and, love and it. it. I love I, this I, Rainbow I can't Dragon. even put my finger on what exactly. It is. At first, I was like, it, it kind of reminds me of like the '90s, the colors. The well, but, what, this is all I did. I used like a almost like the rainbow. I had to add pink at the very beginning, and it's almost like the rainbow colors, like how they would kind of come in the rainbow. But the other three colors, that's the, the that's like your three primary colors for. Uh, it's like cyan, magenta, and yellow. Oh, okay. Oh. So those are the primary okay. colors, you know, in some printers and certain types of, you know, if you're an artist painting stuff. and So kind of embracing the, the neutrality of Rainbow Dragon with that? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's just kind of using all these cool colors. And plus, I mean, it's a rainbow. Kind of every aspect of every color of every rainbow type deal, you know, trying to... But we're hoping that we can throw that design on some merchandise. And if you buy that merchandise, it will be used to support the um, the event. The event. That's that's the deal we're trying to work out with Morton's List. So because, you know, we're not going to make any profit for ourselves off this. No. It's going to go totally to the event. Yeah. And look at it this way. If you can't come to the event, if you can't make it to Knoxville, say you're really far out West Coast, can't afford a flight or whatever. Get or, it. We totally get that. We do. We do. We understand. I mean, this is just little Knoxville. And plus this event, I mean, this is going to be an intimate type event anyway. This isn't like a gathering where it's going to be like 5,000 people. No. You know? you know, this event's probably, who knows? I mean, it could be 30 people here. It could be 60. Who knows? We don't know. So, because last time we hosted an event in Knoxville, how many people did we have? 30, I guess? Maybe? 25? 30? Yeah, something like that. It was very small. Yeah. Very small. Um, a decade and a half ago? Yeah. That was <laughs> 2000. April 2007. Uh -huh. April 13th. Yep. It's Friday 13th. So so hopefully we can work out something really cool and uh, put that stuff out there. So Yeah, that Rainbow Dragon design you made would look really good on a, on a, like a black shirt or a black hoodie. Oh, Make yeah. Make those colors yeah. really pop. Oh, yeah. We'll get some stickers. I don't know. We were trying to figure out something, and I don't know. I just want to share that design that, you know, with my little touch on it, you know. It's dope. Yeah, I like it. I like it. And uh, Jerry Terrifying is asking a very important question right now. Oh. It says, will this stream be saved and uploaded for later? Absolutely. Yes, it will. Yes. You will be able to watch this on YouTube, on our YouTube channel, under the live streams. So if you search a playlist, it will be under the live streams. It's just this is our new format to for live for live, yeah, yeah. Just, just because it's so it's more user friendly for smaller stuff like us because we've never. I mean, I think on our in a year on our YouTube channel we were able to get almost two hundred subscribers, and man, to get that partnership with YouTube, you need a thousand subscribers and one no four thousand watch hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had about 400 to watch hours. Yeah, that's... And some of that is me at work turning on computers. Right. And letting, it, it, letting our live and let, streams play on. Letting our live stream play kind of like stuff. On yeah. six computers. So. so. Indeed. But indeed. yes, Twitch is our new home for live streaming, but the reruns of the live stream yes. can be caught on you, YouTube as usual. Right. And it's, it's like as soon as this ends, because we're recording right now, got it recording, it will be uploaded as soon as this is done. So however long it takes for us to close everything down and then grab that file, go over to YouTube, type in a few things, and boom, uploaded so you can watch it later. So so hopefully within the 30 minutes to an hour usually after after this ends. So, yeah. And I think Twitch is a great format for interacting. I mean, sure, YouTube has a, chat, a live chat, but... I just like the way Twitch is. Right. And, I mean, if we get made into Twitch affiliate, we can start having our little icons and stuff that you can use on other channels and be like, oh, I support Epic Quest. Yeah. And I've got, I've, yeah. So, you know. So, Sorry, Charlie, we're going to get there. Yeah, we're going to get there. I mean, we're, I mean, it's, you know, 
our community is small, but so powerful and so uh, small for now. Yeah. Everyone else will figure it out later. Yeah, they'll figure it out later how dope this is. But I mean, you know, breathing, blinking, eating, playing Morton's List. It's just one of those <laughs> things you got to do. Oh, yeah. Eventually. So. Let's see here. To get tabletop simulator and play Echo Side against people. Oh my God! There you go. Oh wow, <laughs> that'd be nuts. Why? Uh, why are you sorry about the all caps? Because I mean, it sounds. I, I felt the excitement jump he had of that statement. So. <laughs> he's yelling at you. He's not yelling. He's just really excited when he said it. I'm cool with that. <laughs> so, you know, it's all positivity here, brother. So, I bet um, that Sorrel dude could could make that. Man, so, I'm super impressed with that, oh, that quest bot. It is. It is so friggin' cool. And, you know, I'm going to, you know, yeah. So. It's a lot of typing. It is. Typing what? in all those quests and, and the information and mapping out the icons. And it's crazy. So hopefully, yeah. And this is our first kind of Twitch thing. I'm, I'm really, me personally, I'm very new to actually hosting anything on Twitch. This is, we had one yesterday, but it's only a test run. Yeah. <laughs> Just to make sure microphones work, cameras look good. How do you record it? Yeah. Yeah. Make sure it was record. How does this record? Do you have to hit the record button? And yes, you do have to hit the record. Unfortunately, I can't use uh, OBS. Uh, for some reason, my computer does not like OBS. And it fought me tooth and nail. I so. think OBS is just notoriously difficult. Well, especially if you're on Mac. So, I don't know what my Mac still is, but, you know. I don't know. So, I'm using Streamlabs, which I'm not a huge fan of their company. But, hey, if it works, you, sometimes you guys just use what works. Yeah. So And not overcomplicate things. Yeah. You don't have to be overcomplicated. Um, yeah. Let me show you this picture that we found online. Yeah. This was posted over on... Uh, a Discord channel of over on the Morton's List Posting Discord, and we want to give props. Shout out! Shout out to our man Dak, <laughs> sporting the Epic Quest safety orange hoodie, which goes perfect this time of year while you're playing Morton's List and wanting to be safe. At that, get it on our website, web store. Of uh, yeah, I guess we we need to get better with like the links and stuff like that. Links for what? Uh, our web store. Oh, for the web store, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're kind of slack asses, but, you know. I love that combina- that color combination, though. The black logo on the orange hoodie. Yeah, I mean, you love can that. get the, I think you can get the uh, the new with the circle design. This one, I think you can get that in orange. Yeah, there's an orange. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. There's an orange, but it has that wide around. So, if you're from Tennessee, you know orange and white is. Oh, boy. Yep. Oh, boy. It's Looks all, like you're going to a football game here. All nation down here, guys. Yeah, yeah. So so if you wear, if you buy the orange hoodie with that logo, man, and you wear it any time between, what, uh, September and December here in Knoxville, people just, yeah. go Vols! For the record, that's not us. That's not us, though. We don't. I don't. We live in a college town, but this is not, that's not, that's not my team. I don't follow college at all, actually. But yeah, it gets nuts. It gets absolutely nuts nope. down here during college football season. It, it does. It does. So, but uh, yeah. So, and I don't know these these logo. I just want to share these two. Can I share these? Man. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's nothing too special about this, but it's you'll see these coming up. Uh, I've been trying to work on how I'm going to do my uh, videos for the uh, Grand 13 Theory. And I've been coming up with all the... I've been taking the Morton's List icons, kind of th- throwing a little color to them, playing, trying to learn. At the same time, kind of learning Photoshop and playing around. And, uh, you know, I've kind of come up with these little... Man, I don't want to block the image. Let me turn that back off. There we go. I'm going to go through these real quick and just kind of show some of them. If you follow us on Instagram, you've probably seen these on Instagram. Uh, I've been sharing them as I kind of work on them. And, uh, you know, yeah. But uh, I don't know. Maybe these will get put on some things if we work out a, a I fun, like that one. A fun, you like that one? I do. I need to clean it up. There's some white lines that I see, but I kind of like it. I kind of don't like it at the same time. It's weird. 
I don't know. There's there's some things with Photoshop, like trying to clean up little areas that can be such a pain in the dick. Yeah, we were talking about that yesterday. Yeah, but I like this uh, this one and and the ones that Cyrell's using on uh, the the Quest Bot thing. Man, those are cool. Yeah. So let's bring that back up in case some people have missed it. So let's see here. Here's one. Bam. Go back here. Bam. There you go. What's the most recent quest? Uh, well, hold on. Let me go full screen on this. There we go. Uh, let's scroll down. Because I got a new quest that started when we started. Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. It was Chaos 11, Web of Deceit. Web of Deceit encourages the inner circle to stage a hoax. And there's some pictures of some people outside in the snow. Lucky Bandit. Ooh, what up? Snow. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah, we've had a little bit of snow here, but it's never been enough to amount to anything. So, didn't you? Uh, didn't you do that quest downtown what? with uh, Jeremiah and someone else? What? Staging a hoax? I don't know. I can't remember. Did, I probably did. Didn't but... turn a fountain bloody or something? Whoa! Or yeah. Or... No, it was it was red dye. I forgot about that. But yeah, there was a point in time that we. Uh... Oh, that was that was a. Very long time. Ago. Yeah, I mean, like eight dollars of food coloring, and this was eight dollars <laughs> worth of food coloring. What fifty now? Probably yeah, fifteen years ago, sixteen yeah, years ago. At least. So, so that's a lot more food coloring than today's standards of eight dollars of food coloring. And yeah, that's just dumped. yeah. I mean, it was a blood fountain. By the time <laughs> we were done. I don't. know. Hopefully, it didn't hurt. It, it, there was no wildlife or anything, so no wildlife no. was hurt. But yeah. you know, it, hopefully, it, it just man. scared a couple of people. Or, yeah, or just stain some stuff, maybe a little bit. The apocalypse bit is coming. Oh, well, no. <laughs> so, but yeah. All right. I like, the, I, I like those quests. I like the, the prank quests. Oh, yeah, those are always super fun when people go out and. Okay, let's see here. We'll just, Cyrell said he can set uh, his phone app to audio only. So that way he can kind of watch or listen at least and have the audio. So I didn't, I didn't even know that was a thing. So I guess maybe if a streamer's online and you just wanted to hear, especially if it's just people sitting around talking, you know. Yeah, I mean, like we got a we're couple pictures just here and there, but yeah. for the most part, you could just listen to us. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is essentially almost like a podcast. Just, we're sitting here and we flash yeah. a few images up every once in a while. So. I mean, you just have two hosts. Oh, you, you don't. You don't want to see this. You don't want to see our faces anyway. Not all the time. Uh, Not all the time. Dude, dude's got the right idea. Just listen. <laughs> <laughs> but man, what about all this nice setup with lighting and stuff? I that know, worked right? so hard on man. Come on, come on. And I even got the the to try to match up the the lighting today. Like this lighting almost matches this lighting. Two totally different cameras. And I usually, usually I've got a camera where we're like all really orange and red looking. Yeah, <laughs> you know. But today I've got it all nice and everything's kind of we're almost a really natural, almost colder skin tone. Yeah, you're right. Yes, then uh, our, our our natural skin tone. Right, because these these lights are neon kinda, white. Jesus, I just looked into the light now. I'm blind. Oh, it sucks, doesn't it? Oh man, it'll it go, just, did it'll anybody go see the Instagram where uh, I posted the behind the scenes of? Of the uh, what our studio looks like, our studio. Wait. Oh yeah, studio. Yeah, it's not much of a studio. It's just my basement, and it's a disaster. What you're not seeing on camera. Look, I mean, this looks pretty. Oh man, they, they got a nice setup. And you look in the floor, right, and you're just, perfect. yeah, you're tripping. Poor Hoy over here is blind. He's just tripping over cables and cords and lights. And <laughs> sorry, dude. No, nothing's captured to the floor. It's... Uh, oh yeah, because I got carpet and stuff. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, so yeah, so uh man, we we have burnt through thirty minutes of today. Thirty. Thirty. Yeah, I mean, I, it feels like we've been talking for like two hours today. I guess we had so much, inf- you know, we had info. We, we were drop. super excited to share some of this stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, we've been working, you know, kind of hard. There's there's been some. Minor setback, not huge setbacks, just some things that are taking a little extra time because we want to try to get them right for the for the event. There's some 
freshness. I mean, it always seems like when you're planning out a big event and you want the freshest outcome that it usually does take a little bit of extra time to have everything kind of. Yeah, because, I mean, you don't want to say something that doesn't happen. or Right. Oh, you know what we need to talk about? Since these are probably our seven viewers that are watching right now are probably are most likely to come to the event on May 13th. Y'all. Yeah. So we need to ask you guys right now uh, about oh, yeah. of hotel lodging. accommodation. Lodging. Yeah. Because uh, most of these, I mean, it, you're not going to have all night quests that are just all night, twenty four seven. You know, you'll have to rest sometimes. So, <laughs> what type of lodging do you guys want us to kind of look for for the host hotel type thing? So, you know, do you want cheap? You know, because with cheapness comes sketchiness. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, you know, there's a few places, and not. I mean, it's not sketchy so bad that you're going to get mugs stabbed because Knoxville's not really that bad of a town, you know, where where that type of stuff happens. But it's just, you know, I don't know, I don't know. It can be maybe minor sketch stuff going on. Yeah, but know? I mean, we want to work with people. If you're wanting, you know, if this, this is like a big trip for you, and you want to kind of go all out, have tons of money to do quests and other stuff and right. have really nice lodging, then we'll look for something like that. If, right. If because that's not what you want, if you kind of want to be a little thrifty and just have a decent place to lay your head at night, then, then we can steer you in that direction as well. Right. Or we can have like kind of two locations if you want to oh, do totally. the, yeah, the, super, the yeah. super dope or, you know, uh, or you can just look on your own for, uh, uh, we will say the, area that we will be in is around a park of it's called Ims Nature Center. That's gonna be our centralized probably like meeting area where you'll show up to to start the, the questing. Yeah. So just as a heads up, if you want to go ahead and write that down, Ims Nature Center. Go ahead and you can start Googling it and then just know that, you know, that that will be kind of our main meeting spot where a lot of the, the quest will pop off from yeah. be around that area. So, um, but definitely don't be afraid to reach out and ask us questions about any logistics. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. If you got we'll questions, work with yeah, hit us up like a, the messenger on, of um, Facebook, probably the easiest way to get a hold of us. Probably go yeah. there. So, uh, let's see here. Ch-ch-ch. Cyril is like, and people are asking about cabins. Cabins. Let's see here. Oh, 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 I mean, another viable option is if you're if you're wanting to drive, or if you're wanting to fly and get a rental car. I mean, you can look on Airbnb. I'm sure there's plenty of options there. Oh, shoot. Sorry, I just knocked the shit out of the mic. <sighs> Bam! Everybody's deaf now. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Airbnb is another Yeah, option. where we're at, I mean, you, you think of Knoxville and you think, oh, you're right by the mountains. No, I mean. Yes and get, no, we're about like yeah. 30 minutes, but that 30 minutes wouldn't to be an the, hour. But, I mean, if, yeah. if you're driving, if you want, if that's where you want to lodge and you have a way right. to come and go from there, that's. Yeah, you can stay in those super totally nice legit. cabins up in Gatlinburg, Sevierville area, and then drive in every day. Be but about, just know that you'll be driving 30 minutes to an hour one way. Probably closer so, to an hour. Yeah, especially with traffic, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and it, it, it'll makes, be it'll be May. It'll just be warming up. People will be flocking up up. Yeah, right. that Sevierville area just outside of Knoxville is tourist crazy. Oh yes, yeah. And if there's like a big wreck or something on the interstate, just know it may take you extra time to get there. Like hell, just up there in Sevierville, they're about to build the world's biggest Bucky's. It's gonna happen. No, a, that's in Crossville. That's not in Sevierville. I thought it was it. No, oh, oh that's where four eleven. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, it's in Crossville. Well, that's well, that won't be anywhere no, won't near us, that, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm just saying how touristy it is. Here. Yeah, we get tourists a lot, a lot. Well, they said the Great Smoky Mountains was the number one visited of uh, national park last year. I believe that. Yeah, like 12 million people. It is huge and it is gorgeous. Right, and and the good thing about the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, it is, I mean, a lot of other parks that you go to, it costs money to go in to. Oh yeah, some of them not do. here. Not here. It's it's always free. There is you do not have to pay to go. Come on in, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. 
All right, all right. They're saying we're from here. Yes. What do we suggest? Um, I, I really, what I would suggest if you have the means is, man, there's a super nice uh, Holiday Inn Express right there at World's Fair Park. It's a little pricey probably. It's probably 120 a night, you know, maybe maybe a little bit higher on the weekends, 150 But if you want to spend that type of money, it's close enough to the venue that that you can be there in like a five minute drive or less. We're also going to have some of our friends. We're trying to rope them into providing a almost like a shuttle service. Yes, I was going to say. <laughs> where, yeah. where we'll have our friends and they're totally legit dudes who are really super cool. We'll come swoop you up at your hotel, especially the people we really know very well from you know uh, from here on the Morton's List Twitch on uh, Morton's List uh, social media in general. Yeah, um, the discords, you know, of uh, you know, if you reach out to us, we'll try to work something in so you really don't have to worry as much. Or shit, if you, even if you need a uh, pick up from like the airport or something, yeah. or if you're taking a bus in, pick up from the the bus station. However you want to do it, we can try to we can try to work something out with you to be to be accommodating because. Uh, I'm taking a few days off from work, and uh, I'll be coordinating a lot of stuff with the uh, Twilight Lords as they come into town. But I can also, you know, try to try to help out a little bit in any way I can when I'm not totally busy. And, or we can have Hoy pick you up. Absolutely, yeah. Hoy will come and <laughs> <laughs> just assume that we've already rolled Anarchy on Wheels. Yes, oh. and. And we'll and, just take it from Yeah, you. he'll probably get arrested in the first 20 seconds of driving that vehicle. Let's him. hope. <laughs> if not, he's going to destroy a lot of stuff. <laughs> Have you ever seen one of those, uh, what do they call them, demolition derbies? Yeah. It's this guy. Pick people up in a tank. There we go. Big old panzer. So, um, let's see here. Let's see here. What else are we going to say? We're going to go... Um, uh, Junkhead saying Williamswood Castle. That is not. That is pure speculation, brother. What about it? Yeah. What about it? No, I mean, does he think that's where we're? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, does I don't he, know. Does he want to stay there? I don't know. You maybe you can see if it's booked or something. I don't know. It's. I don't know. It, that thing stays booked a lot, so yeah. it, it may be booked that week. I don't know. Or you could. Uh, or you could just get like five hotel rooms. Right. Yeah. Or you for can buy all price. the yeah. You can buy all the hotel rooms <laughs> for for a lot of other people. Because when we rented it last time, it was had three bedrooms. One of them's like super dope ass bedroom. The other two are like hey, yeah, they're kind of cool. So and believe it or not, there's only three bedrooms there. Oh, he's looking into Airbnbs. Oh yes, 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 yeah. But uh, yeah, but uh. Yeah, if you want to look into some Airbnb type action, cool. <laughs> Just uh, around that area is well. If you want to know where's close, Ams Nature Center is what you're gonna be looking at. That's close by. So, um, but good luck if you want to, you know, get something that's you know super expensive and stuff like that. Plenty of options. There's, there's plenty of a options. Lot of hotels right yeah, there. Well, yeah, and there's super nice and they're super affordable. You know, in the area. And we'll we'll probably look that up. Maybe post some places that are, you know, close and kind of give our opinions of them. You know, I mean, hey, if if someone wants to, uh, if someone wants to rent out that castle, I'll stay with them. <laughs> That's fine. You stay with them. You'll snuggle right up next to you, baby. So. Alrighty. Um, let's see here. How much time we got? We got about 15 more minutes. Get out of town. Get out of town, man. Of, so, yeah, we're going to try to. We'll try to come up with some stuff to let you know locations to stay at. I, I'd really like for everybody to kind of stay together because it kind of. It'll be easier for transporting. E stuff easier like for that. transport, easier to kind of keep the groups kind of centralized. And, and if any of you guys want to do late night stuff together then you'll already be together like that right right you know there's going to be a uh, you know uh, there may be a special ceremony that happens and stuff well there'll probably be a few ceremonies and you know because we're weird I mean we we worked that into our our Martin's List life very very early on oh yeah oh yeah there's this 
Don't get us wrong. I mean, some people are like, oh, you're a cult. No. I, I, what, not, we, not, we, not here. No. We, we act like it. Yeah. We, we have fun with it like we that. We totally have fun with it like that. Hell yeah, this is a cult. Yeah. But not that kind of cult. Not yeah. the not the spooky, scary kind that ruins your life type cult. No, this is a cult that's... Meet you at the fort after yeah, school. Yeah. It was that's he, the secret kind of handshake <laughs> and, <Yeah>. you know... <laughs> You know, kind of, kind of like that. That's about as deep as it goes. No, so. no, no blood oaths. No, oh, not anymore. Not anymore. No, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like that. No. no. Uh, but no, we've taken aspects of cult. We've taken things from Knights Templar and Freemasons and worked it into initiation ceremonies and stuff like. that. Well, just shoot, for the look sake at of look at three hundred sixty degrees of inner circle. That is oh. almost. Masonic, right there. I mean, three hundred sixty yeah. degrees. You know, I mean, and it's it's a game. Morton's list is a game, or is it? Is it a game? And, and to a degree, yeah. <laughs> and, and to a degree, it feels kind of cultish because you're in a close knit group of people that are about something amazing, and you want to tell everybody about it. So, but I, I mean, I, I, I get the confusion. We just like to take things. Oh, wait, I like taking it over the top, baby. Yeah. I love it being epic, weird and epic. And we're going to try to do this thing with lots of, I don't know, because I'm really a huge fan of Cosmic Law. And just, I don't know, if you've noticed some of the, the imagery has been a little kind of that. I've been inspired by Cosmic Law to really, you know, when coming up with all of our, you know, not... St- and we're going to have that little ceremony that we've been talking about. So, you know, there's kind of, that's the reason we're using all this imagery that we are. And I don't know, we may throw some dark alchemy feels into it and stuff like that. I don't know, man. It's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be lighthearted, good time, you know, but epic and totally random. And all so. about that questing. Yes. We're going to freak that questing. Oh, yeah. So let's see here. Let's, sorry, I am so bad at keeping up with the chat. I apologize. That's why we do need Jeremiah here to kind of yell at us. Yeah, our chat we're master. Missing. Our chat master. Let's see here. Six people, blah, blah, blah. Jesus. Let's see here. Let's see here. Is the relic a code ring? It could be. Oh, or it may what? not be. A code ring, like oh. a decoder ring. Okay. Kind of. You know, like Ralphie had in Christmas Story, a little decoder thing. Yeah. It could be. Maybe. Who knows? You'll have to come to the event and find out or or keep very close eye on what is going on on Mortonslist.com and Morton's List on Discord and Morton's List on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. But if you want to know before List. anybody else, your best bet? Is to seduce one of us and sleep with us, and we'll tell you all our secrets. No, him, this one, right I'm there. Just kidding. That one. Now, 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 see, now, now, you went down the wrong way with the cult. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're you, right. You went you're all, right. you went all like super weird with the the cult that we don't like. That. Yeah, this is a normal cult. This isn't like a harem or anything. Yeah. Let's not get weird, man. All right. Too late. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see here. Twilight Scroll and let's see here. Twilight Scroll series. Oh, I wanted to bring something up now that you said what? that. What? What? It just bothers me. What? Because it doesn't sit right in my brain face. What? Grand 13 Theory. Oh, yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> I like the way he's been saying it for the past If you watch years. the video <laughs> that I made... It, Apparently, I called a quest something that is not called. But this is one of those. What's what's it called when you think something's been something away? Oh, a Mandela effect. Yes. So, so apparently this for because the first time I even read this quest, of uh, you know, I thought it was the Grand Theory of Thirteen, but it's not. It's Grand Thirteen Theory. It's which is on the Twilight Scroll. It's on the Twilight Scroll, and it's it's the things in that book have, I don't know, just. I don't know the words to say, but they've, I don't know. I want to do that quest. And I was like, if I ever roll a Twilight Scroll, I really hope it's this one, but I've never rolled one. And I've played like 
300 quests. I mean, if you saw my old quest log back in the day, you could beat, I shit you not. You could beat somebody with that It was quest log. this thick. It was that thick. It, that thick. Oh, e- easy. Yeah, I ain't lying. No. I ain't lying. It was in a binder, and it was page on page on page. You yeah. Know, 300 plus quests in that bad boy. Thick. But, um, I mean, yeah, I don't have any more. I wish I did. I wish I even had a picture of it. I don't even have a picture of it. But that quest we're talking about, yeah, right. Grand 13 Theory, that's what it's called. If you look it up in the Twilight Scroll. Right. And the whole time, I thought it was <laughs> the Grand Theory of 13. I swear on... That sounds better. On, you know, on my life that I thought that's what it was. Grand Theory of 13. Sounds good. Grand right. 13 Theory. I, I don't know. It's just not giving me that, that feel. Well, it's because I've been saying it that way for <laughs> damn 20 years almost now. <laughs> yeah. You know, wow, to think I've been saying, well, yeah, at least for when we were playing back hardcore. I mean, it was 05, 06 when we were damn hardcore playing Morton's List. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. Because we started playing what? Was it 04, 03 when we started playing? Uh, you remember? I, I started playing in 04. 04. Yep. Okay. Okay. I believe so, it's the summer of 04. So we were really hardcore. I mean, we, we met every, almost every Saturday and Sunday and played, and played at least once a week. Yeah. And, and did several quests. Yeah. We would all day I quest. Did. We would start, you know, probably anywhere between Noon nine and, in, no shit. Sometimes we were there at nine in the morning playing, dude, because we always oh, had yeah. breakfast. We always had breakfast. That's, yeah. We always Some, tried to work in food. Yeah. Food and alcohol <laughs> were always our things. We never started the quest drunk or with food. But we made sure somehow to work those in. So. Yeah, we got a lot of fiddle variety and gourmet a new way and snack bandits and. <laughs> yeah. So when's the virgin sacrifice? We got the right here. He is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it grew back. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see here. And uh, good lord, let's see here. Sorry, so much. I'm trying to. I'm skipping things. Let's see. Is there a mortal trade between tier cost and crash space cost? What was the question? Uh, I'm just reading Dak. He's like um, talking about the trade off between the tier cost of tickets and stuff with the crash space cost, which, mm-hmm. you know, you know, I mean, I can see where if you want to get the fresher tier ticket, which those are going to be coming out, we're still working on all those tiers. I mean, nothing's going to be crazy like five hundred bucks. So no, this ain't it won't no, be no five hundred. This ain't no psychopathic thing. Yeah, I mean, barely over a hundred, someplace in that area. You know, definitely, definitely should be under two hundred, way under that. So yeah. just letting you know, it's kind of where we're sitting. We're, I mean, I mean, really, it's one thirteen, one thirty, someplace in there. It's, it's kind of where we're looking at for the highest for tier, the highest tier. Correct. So. Yeah. So that's really what we're looking at price-wise for ticketing, you know, at your high-end ticket. They get you into every single thing, every, you know. But there will be a special thing that you may or may not have to submit a um, an essay for. That's been that's been talked about. We there will be more stuff to come out about that later. But oh, and n- not we're, the, we're, not we're the, making the, hints. And, not that this applies to me per se, but uh, don't forget. Tax season's coming up. It's a good way to put a little money back. Yes. For yes. those of you, I don't, I'm yeah. sure all the, the rules are different in different states, but. Right, yeah. If so. Most people I, get a nice little chunk back. Right. So that's why we're trying to get our tickets on sale by no later than, uh, you know, the 13th of February. So that way, if you get a little tax money back, you can go ahead and book you a um, what else? hotel yeah. and get your buy your ticket. Yeah. And, you know, go from there. So. Yeah. I always look forward to stuff like that. You know, when you're getting a little money, holidays, birthdays, oh, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, but hopefully, you know, everything's going to go smooth and we're, you know, we'll start making a f- big official announcements. You know, uh, there'll be, we're going to leave Morton's List to make all the big officials. So this is a Toast. official Morton's List event. So they get to do all the officials. We are just helping put it all together and adding our flavor and texture to it. We hope you love it because we we really love oh, it, it. Just thinking about that, a bunch of us getting together, yeah, I mean, like it's that been so long. For the first, you know, I mean, we got to do a little bit of it at the gathering, 
we got to play some, you know, Morton's List and do some Morton's Listy things. Yeah. That's how we met Cyrell. He, he played the Epic Quest, Epic Gathering event. Hopefully it's a, a blast because I know we had fun just making the list because they, they had Scavengers of Fortune and, you know, got to go out and uh, do our gathering. Such a slim chance of them rolling that. And they did. And they fucking did. They, see, that's where, uh, man, fate and karma just collide and come together. That's why I know this event is going to be so epic. Yeah. Because damn right. all of these karmic things are going to come together and, you know, this, especially this being the first Friday the 13th event that there's been in a very long, like, big official Friday the 13th event that's been in a yeah. while. Morton's List, you know. So. And we, 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 we hosted an event back in the day, and that was, there was a lot of this and that and other stuff, but this one's going to be largely, largely just questing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this will be most of, yeah, yeah, definitely a lot of, you know, and we're, when you come to do these quests, we're going to try to do them as epically as possible. Oh, so God, yeah. Save some of your money to do, you know, a tax money or whatever for the actual quest itself. Because if we roll something where, say, you go to a theme park, do we? Well, boy, do we have one right here. We have one in Tennessee that you would love to go see, and it's called Dollywood. So, but don't let that scare you if you don't have enough money either. Don't let that scare you away. Of definitely, no, if you want to come happen. to the event, I mean, we're not going to leave anybody behind. You know what I mean? No. But we'll find uh, ways. We will find ways. If they but no, whatever. But no, coming into it, the intention is to throw down epically. Epically, yeah, yeah. Just have that mindset that whenever we do these things, we're going to try to do them as because we're not we're not like playing a quest every hour for this. It's like no, we're kind of like that. playing like a morning quest. An afternoon quest is how the event. So that way we've got plenty of time to do and say something happens and this quest is done in an hour because it's something that's easy and short and can be done on site as soon as we roll it. Yeah. We will we'll just roll another one then. Sure. You know, to in you know, and have a couple of hours to do it. But we don't want to try to plan out that oh we're going to do like five quests per day right have every minute planned out no. right you can't no. do you can't do that no we've we've hosted enough events that you plan a morning thing or a before well some of it may be before noon or i don't know we'll figure we'll figure out all the details you know yeah it may not be at noon we'll, but there'll be like a early thing and then like the late thing a day thing a night thing right so maybe something like that like a you know, with, pl- with plenty of time for eating and fellowship and and all that great oh, stuff. Oh yeah, because I, I know I'm looking forward to just kicking it with some people and just having some really good times. Yes, of Dollywood uh, National Treasure. No, Dolly Parton, my friend, is a national treasure. Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah, she is. She is a. She absolute, does a lot for the community. Yes, and you know, probably if, if anybody should be like the model Tennessean. That I would say is the best person to ever come from Tennessee, Dolly Parton, by far. She's a new Betty White. She's my new Betty White. She, she's always been my like. She's awesome. She is awesome. She is awesome. So. And actually, we're getting another theme park. I think. I think they're gonna. I think they're building a, a Knott's Berry Farm or something. Oh, we have this other thing here in Knoxville that they. It's called uh, Lore Village or something. Oh, yeah. We got this. It's, it's like Hobbit themed. Now, yeah. okay, you want to spend some money and come to Knoxville? And, and, and nerd out? And ner- super nerd out? That would be the place. I mean, we would love to book this place, but oh, damn. Yeah. There's oh. there's one room that's $3,000 a night in this place. Yeah. And I think some, but look at an ancient lore village. If, it, you, if you want that, that, that J.R.R. Tolkien Hobbit type experience, feel experience, yeah. <laughs> which is kind of in the theme with this you know, Knights, Cosmic Law, and all the the fun stuff. Book that, because actually I think that's kind of close to Arms as well. I was so, going to ask, is, yeah. it, is it in Knoxville? It, it's around that, that area, I okay. think. So, but yeah. Yeah, I've seen a lot Look, of pictures. It looks dope as shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, it just opened last year. <laughs> it just opened last year. But, you know, we we definitely, that was not in the budget, you know. So we got something that still is super dope and nice, but, you know. I don't know. We're yep. still excited. We're so excited. So, well, we're going to. So Morton's list said Dolly is Dolly for Queen of Tennessee. Yes, 
Yeah. Well, at least oh, the queen of the United States. She is absolutely States. the queen of the United States. She is America. Yeah. That's what America should be, like Dolly Parton. America. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, let's see here. And see here. Oh, uh, let's go ahead. QuestBot has an hourly quest. It's going to go off in right now. It's going off right now. So that's probably what that ding you just heard yep. on my computer. So Two o'clock. Go ahead and go over there and get your quest bot in. Don't forget, Morton's List is coming up here at 4 o'clock over on the their Twitch channel. Let's, let's see here. Morton's let's, List Official. Morton's List Official. Bam. Oh, I hit something. There we go. I hit a button. Bam. And, Fade to black. Yeah, there we go. So right there it is, Morton's List over on Twitch. They're coming up soon. And don't forget to go over to the Morton's List posting Discord channel at 6, six Central, Central 7, 7 Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. So, so yes, indeed. My name is Brad. I'm Hoy Sensation. Hoy Sensation. And, man, I keep forgetting to take down the stuff whenever I switch over to things. So sorry our names were up over Morton's List. Yeah. New Twitch. Twitch channel. But we'll get it. We'll, we'll start getting used to it, maybe. Yeah. Maybe I just <laughs> maybe. need it. Maybe. <laughs> well, no, I'll make that mistake all the time. So thank you all for joining us for our first uh, Epic Quest Random Adventures Twitch live stream. We'll be doing this the last Sunday of every month. We can't put it up on our schedule because Twitch won't let you schedule something only one day a month. Mm -mm. They may want you to schedule stuff. Sorry about not having a schedule up, but you have to schedule something that day of every week. We are not there yet. <laughs> Maybe eventually, but yeah, maybe. as for right now, no, we're not. So, peace out. Much love, much karma, and uh, we'll see you next month, and hopefully with a lot more details about the event and more Morton's List fun stuff. So, yeah. Hoy. yeah. Keep your eyes peeled for, for all the new news about the event and everything else. Yeah. <laughs>